Good morning everyone. Let us prepare ourselves for the Holy Eucharist. Entrance and defend. Your merciful love, O God, we have received in the midst of your temple. Your praise, O God, like your name, reaches the ends of the earth. Your right hand is filled with saving justice. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. With you. Dear sisters and brothers, as we celebrate this Eucharist, let us pray for the whole world, especially the struggles the world is going through, all the impacts of COVID-19. Especially we pray for Lord's wisdom and His mercy upon all the agencies trying to find a cure and a vaccine. Let us recall to mind all our sins, shortcomings, asking pardon and forgiveness from the Lord. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ have, mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins. Bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, a refuge in every danger, to whom we turn in our distress, in faith we pray, look with compassion on the afflicted, grant eternal rest to the dead, comfort to mourners, healing to the sick, peace to the dying, strength to the healthcare workers, wisdom to our leaders, and the courage to reach out to all in love, so that together we may give glory to your holy name. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Be seated for the readings. First reading, a reading from the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, they have set up kings but not with my consent, and appointed princes, but without my knowledge. Out of their own silver and gold they have made idols, which are doomed to destruction. I spurn your calf, Samaria. My anger blazes against it. How long will it be before they purge themselves of this, the sons of Israel? A workman made the thing, this cannot be God. Yes, the calf of Samaria shall go up in flames. They sow the wind, they will reap the whirlwind. The wheat will yield no ear, the ear will yield no flower. Or if it does, foreigners will swallow it. Ephraim has built altar after altar. They have only served him as occasion for sin. Were I to write out the thousand precepts of my law for him, they would be paid no more attention than those of a stranger. They love sacrificing. Right, let them sacrifice. They love meat. Right, let them eat it. The Lord takes no pleasure in this. He is now going to remember their iniquity and punish their sins. They will have to go back to Egypt. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
Responsorial Psalm. The house of Israel trust in the Lord. The house of Israel trust in the Lord. Our God is in the heavens. He does whatever he wills. The idols of the heathen are silver and gold. The work of human hands. A response. The house of Israel trust in the Lord. They have mouths but they cannot speak. They have eyes but they cannot see. They have ears but they cannot hear. They have nostrils but they cannot smell. A response. The house of Israel trust in the Lord. With their hands they cannot feel, with their feet they cannot walk, their makers will become like them, so will all who trust in them. Response, the house of Israel trust in the Lord. Sons of Israel trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. Sons of Aaron trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. Response, house of Israel, trust in the Lord. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my sheep and mine know me. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. A man was brought to Jesus, a dumb demoniac. And when the devil was cast out, the dumb man spoke, and the people were amazed. Nothing like this has ever been seen in Israel, they said. But the Pharisees said, It is through the prince of devils that he casts out devils. Jesus made a tour through all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom, and curing all the sick, all kinds of diseases and sickness. And when he saw the crowds, he felt sorry for them, because they were harassed and dejected like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is rich, but the laborers are few. So ask the Lord of the harvest to send laborers into his harvest. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let us reflect and pray. God, our Heavenly Father, you send your Son Jesus into the world to cure the sick, to free people from possessions. Lord, this time we pray, offering this day unto you, to have the presence of Jesus by our side and to feel it in our heart every moment and offer everything, our sickness, all our shortcomings, all our bondages unto him, believing that he is almighty and he has the power. And he is powerful to cure and free us. Lord, give us a grace to increase our faith a bit this day. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Bless you, Lord. Pray, brethren, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name. For His Accept, O Lord, the gifts we offer in this time of peril. May they become for us, by your power, a source of healing and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by his birth, he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state, and by his suffering cancelled out our sins. By his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life, and by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. And giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Anthony, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, 
that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ for the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. So let's offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. Dear sisters and brothers in Christ, especially those who cannot go to the church today and receive communion physically, because of restrictions and limitations, it's your time for a spiritual communion. We make this prayer of spiritual communion and invite the Lord into our heart. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The body and blood of Christ keep us all safe for eternal life. Amen. Amen.
Let us pray. O oh God, from whose hand we have received the medicine of eternal life, grant that through this sacrament we may glory in the fullness of heavenly healing. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty Lord bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let's serve the Lord in love and peace. Thanks be to the Lord. Thank you.